There's a lot of confusion out there about what the mono stereo button does on the Yamaha MG06X audio mixer. I'm Jordan and in this video I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about this button, where to find it, what it does, when I would use it, and when I would not use this button. Alright, let's get right to it. You'll find the mono stereo button near the bottom of the audio mixer right below channels 1 and 2 on the Yamaha MG06X. So what does this button do? A lot of people think that this button will convert the whole audio mixer from being mono to stereo, and that's not really true. What this button will actually do is it will pan channel 1 to the left and it'll pan channel 2 to the right. It will make a stereo pair out of your first two inputs. We can see some hints here on the audio mixer down here. It says channel one slash left and channel two slash right. So if you ever do get mixed up as to which does which, that's exactly what it does. But when the button is in the up position, it treats each channel as a mono channel. Do keep in mind that on this small audio mixer, there is no pan knob. So they put this in, so if you are running a stereo source, at least you can pan channel one to the left and channel two to the right. Okay, next let's talk about when I would or would not use this. By default, the button is in mono mode. So what, when would I leave this in mono? I would leave this in mono anytime I'm using a vocal microphone or I have two separate inputs into channels one and two. So if you have a podium microphone and a wireless handheld, of course I would leave this in mono mode. You want both of those microphones to be coming right down the middle. You don't want them panned left or right. Same thing if you have a vocal microphone and a microphone on an acoustic guitar. You don't want those panned in any way on a small audio mixer like this. You just want those channels coming in mono, getting mixed, and going out to all your speakers at the same time. Now, when would I put this in stereo mode? When would I click this button down? To me, this would be a last resort. What I mean by that is I would choose to use my other stereo inputs first. Say I'm a DJ, I connect my turntables to 5.6, I'd have my backup source like my phone and channels three, four. But what happens if you don't need a microphone, so you don't need any mono sources, and you actually have a third stereo input, like a laptop computer or a drum machine or another set of turntables? Then of course I would connect those to channels one and two, click the stereo button here, so you get that left right panning of your input source, and it, you'll get more out of the audio mixer that way. Same thing goes if you are like stereo micing a piano or stereo micing a drum set like drum overheads or something like that. Probably not going to happen on a small audio mixer like this, but in those cases I would use the stereo pan button. So by default here I would leave this button in the up position anytime that you're connecting two different sources into this audio mixer or they're just microphones that you want going to all your speakers. The only time I'd click this stereo pan button here is if you're connecting a single stereo input source into channels one and two, and you really need those channels panned left and right. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.